We are now going to Shilla, which is a very nice place nearby Reggio. It's uh, 20 minutes by car, even less if you go a little bit faster. And it's very good, it's an old village and it's a fisherman village and we will spend there the day at the beach. There is a also a castle and there is also a village nearby it's called Chianalea which is entirely on the sea. But we will show you in a few seconds. Scilla is very famous for the swordfish fishing. They still do it with the traditional boat in which at the top of the boat there are the people that are looking on the sea to see if they see any swordfish and once they see it, they tell to the rest of the crew and they will hunt the swordfish with the traditional approach. There is a phenomenon here in the mountain that early morning, sometimes, because the mountains are very near the sea, there is some clouds that it becomes, it came on top of the beach. It stays one hour, a couple of hours, and then it becomes again clear, like the rest of the city. As you can see from Scilla, Sicily is very near. That is Sicily. And the distance by boat from near Sicily is called Villa San Giovanni. It's like 15 minutes, it's 3 kilometers. It's still cloudy, so you cannot see a lot of the colors, but you can see the village. So that is the castle, the rock to the, to the sea. And that is the, let's say, the village. And it's, it reminds a little bit of Cinque Terre in uh, Liguria. And it's a little bit, no, it's way less crowded than Cinque Terre. And basically with the hours that goes on, the fog starts to disappear. And now the mountain is starting to be less shadowy and more sunny. And in about probably 15 to 10, 20 minutes will be clear sky like there. Already with my canoa to go and have a nice canoa, I don't know the verb. <laughs> And I really suggest you to come in uh, May because it's already hot and the beach is not that busy. There are not too many people. The fog is still there, but will disappear, I swear it. I convinced also Noemi to come to do a canoe tour and we are near the rock, but I'm not saying close. And the sun came out, so it's really with nice colors, like green, blue, light blue. We are basically now, we crossed the uh, castle and the rock and we are in Canalea and we will go to have lunch somewhere there, these restaurants that they have a wooden platform on the sea. And it's very amazing, it's an old fisherman neighborhood or village and it's really, really beautiful, trust me. Just to explain how important is the sun, as I said, the fog is out and the color of the sea became, becomes like a light blue, a really beautiful light blue. And there in the back, as usual, the rock. Now it's lunchtime here, it's uh, around one. The sun is very strong and we are moving basically the other side of the coast. So here is Scilla, where you go to the beach and you go to, to the sea. And now we are moving the other side, it's 1 a.m. so it's lunch time in Italy. We will cross the rock and arrive in Canalea, where we are gonna eat above the sea on a restaurant. It is a wooden platform on the sea. We are now walking in the streets, the narrow streets of the village, and it's really overwhelming the smell of the fish here. It's everything is fish and it's very beautiful also the stairs that bring you to the sea. Top, we will have a frittura di pesce or fried fish and there is a very very good smell 
the only maybe issue is that it's also a karaoke bar and people is crowding to sing Italian songs, of course. The fried fish is very, very tasty. There is a little bit noise for the karaoke, but the fish is amazing. Here it's always super crowded to have lunch or to eat in general because it's super busy. Now we have to wait about one hour. We asked in the meanwhile a Futura di Pesce at another place just to lose some time. But uh, trust me, it's the best in the city and you can have the true Pesce Spada, not the, like, the frozen one. Even if it's in the middle of the bread, it tastes the salmorillo, which is oil, lemon and something else. And it makes it really tasty, even if it's in the middle of the bread. Now the fog is completely over from the mountain and you can see that the color of the, the sea is also more beautiful. 